welcome back to my channel and a really warm welcome if you are new to my channel today. My name is Gemma and I have four children, a three-year-old boy called Oscar, and I have triplet boys who are currently five months old, or three months corrected, and their names are Sebastian, Ashton and Hendrix. And so in today's video I am going to be running down our top 10, I've narrowed it down to, favourite uh, baby products for kind of the newborn stage. Loads of you have asked and those of you that are expecting multiples particularly have asked what has been the most useful for us um, product wise and what's made our life easier because if you're having multiples anything that you can do to make your life easier you will do it. So in this video I'm going to give you a rundown of our favourite products that have really helped us out. Some of these products um, we actually used with our first son who is now three so they have really stead, um, stood the test of time and some of them are brand new just for the triplets um, but I will be sure to link everything in the description box below so that if it interests you you can just easily go and find it um, because I get the note <laughs> again I know that is something that's really important if you are expecting that you just want to be able to get that thing. So let's get into the video of my top 10 favourite products for newborn babies. Okay, so the first product is the one that took the longest to find and that was the baby monitor. So we did a lot of research and we had a baby monitor from when my son was a baby, um, but to be honest it was rubbish. The screen was really tiny, the night vision was really rubbish and so for the triplets we were like we need to get a decent monitor because there's three of them we need to know what they're up to <laughs> and you know who's crying we need to be able to see in the night time um, etc. So in the end we were actually gifted the monitor but we absolutely love it and it is the baby move you move now it's not actually in here but this is the box <laughs> um it's the you move camera from baby move and what is fantastic if you are expecting multiples twins triplets or more is that you can add extra cameras so we actually have three cameras at the moment we're only using one on the babies because they currently are sharing the same cot in our room but they are about to move into their nursery and that is when the three cameras is really going to come in handy because they're going to go into their their own beds and then you can actually have a camera on each baby and then you have the monitor that you're able to flick through between the different cameras and see you know each baby so it has an 11 centimeter screen it has a motorized camera 360 degrees it actually can go all the way around we have it currently mounted on the wall so we only kind of need it like up and down left and right um, but you can go all the way around um, it has the walkie talkie feature, it has a night light and you can actually change the colour of the night light as well, I think there's like six different colours. Um, it plays lullabies, it has the vox function which is brilliant, so that is the function that the screen will be black on the, um, this part and then if it senses movement or noise it lights up, so that's brilliant. Um, it has a two times zoom. It has a visual and sound alarms, it has a temperature sensor, it, the night vision is incredible and you can also, it comes with the wall mountings. Okay, the next product is another new product and it is called a rocket. This is genius. So this basically attaches to your buggy and continues to make motion when you stop. So I have been going for a walk religiously pretty much with the triplets every morning um, but if at all I'd like to stop and maybe get a drink, <laughs> um, the minute you stop, as you'll probably know, if you have a child or if you don't have a child, this is good information, when you stop moving your buggy the babies tend to wake up because they're used to the motion and then when you stop the motion they wake up. So this continues the motion, it basically gives a gentle shake to the buggy um, and it has this little strap so you can attach it to a piece of your buggy and then it continues to rock it basically hence rock it. Okay the next products are baby carriers so our triplets um, we never actually opted for the triple buggy when they were tiny we actually have a triple buggy for when they are sitting called a Zoe um, but they need to be able to sit to go in that buggy and they're not at that stage yet so we opted to actually get a double buggy and then a carrier a lot of people told us in the kind of triplet groups that 
The triple buggies are huge, especially when you've got the bassinets, they don't fit through doors, they're really heavy, etc, etc. And that just really put us off, especially because we wanted to get the Zoe because it's super light and compact when they're six months old. So we didn't see the point in getting the triple buggy for six months. So we opted for a double buggy, which um, I'll insert a clip of what our double buggy looks like, but that isn't the product. Um, what I'm talking about here is the carriers. So we started off and this is the carrier that I had with Oscar, my three year old. We had um, a stretchy carrier called a Moby. Um, and this is great when your babies are really small. This one is um, like a cotton, nice and stretchy and nice um, and breathable, but you can still like fold it over and it'd be nice and warm as well if they're in colder weather. That's great when they're really tiny because they just kind of, you can just really scoop them up in it and have them all bundled up like they are in the womb and they sleep really well in that and then when they got a little bit bigger we moved on to our um ergo baby this is the carrier that we had with oscar it's the ergo baby 360 so you can have them facing into you when they're tiny and then when they're bigger you can switch them so they face out um and what i'd like to also mention is that you will need the newborn insert to go in that carrier so you can actually carry them from newborn in that so you don't necessarily need a stretchy wrap but I actually quite like the stretchy wrap when they're really tiny but you can then get the um, newborn insert that goes inside your ergo baby and what it looks like is basically it's this extra piece here that sits inside so their bum is higher up because it's really important when they're in a carrier that their bum um, sits at the right level so that their head is within kissing distance of you. So if they don't have this and they're newborn, they sit way too low in the carrier. Um, and they also need to make sure that you have the M shape so that their knees come up higher than their hips. So their bum is down here, then their knees and then their legs. So you want that M shape. And so in order to get that when they're newborn, you'll need the newborn insert. So I love the Ergo Baby because it comes with this. It's basically like this little cushion that they can sit on. It raises them up and makes sure that they get that M shape, which is essential when you're carrying a baby in a carrier for their hips. Okay, the next product is a really simple product and it is uh, Velcro swaddles. So we have loads of swaddle blankets and we use the swaddle blankets in combination when the babies were tiny but if you have particularly multiples you know twos or threes and you're trying to swaddle particularly in the night time it can get a bit like <laughs> overwhelming trying to wrap them all up right um, and so these are a bit of a lifesaver and particularly for people who aren't confident with swaddling these are great so um, they come in a pack of three so love that when you have triplets all those packs of threes you know you get packs of three zippers and things like that clothes t-shirts joggers and they come in packs of three I'm like yes but these come in a pack of three and they just have a simple velcro here um, ugh, they basically are like this so you put the baby in the little bottom bit you put this bit up fold fold and they're swaddled basically and they're really safe and snug. Okay, the next product that's been super handy is a nappy organizer. So we actually have two. We have this one and we have oops, this one. These are really lovely. They're like um, a gray felt with like leather details. So these are really handy to organize your life for a nappy change and you can carry them around the house we don't have a specific nappy changing station downstairs we just don't have the space we already have a cot downstairs with the baby so these are just really handy to have and then we have one upstairs in our room on the nappy changing unit um, but they're great because they have all the compartments so you can have nappies wipes um, you know creams and things like that and then they also have pockets on the front so we've got like the nail clippers anti-back sanitizer um, nappy rash cream, cotton buds, nail clippers, that kind of stuff and everything fits and is nicely organised so that you know you can access it for a nappy Next change. up is our changing bag and that is one that I always get questions about because we have triplets and you know what changing bag can you get that is going to be useful for triplets that's going to fit all of their stuff. Now I did so much research, I asked a load of you guys over on my Instagram of recommendations for changing bags and loads of you recommended the Packapod, um, so much so that they then got in touch with me and 
um, gifted me a Packapod, so thank you very much, Packapod. <laughs> um, but when I looked at it, I was like, that is definitely a clear runner. So they do loads of different designs, I will say that. Um, and this is the one that I ended up choosing because it was the one that just had the most space for us for his triplets. They also do like backpack styles. They do ones that are more geared towards dads. Um, loads of different kind of leather. This is faux, or what they call vegan leather. Um, so they do loads of different styles. So I will link it in the description box. But basically I love this one because it has two huge easy access pockets, handles here, and then on the back it has um, handles so that you can make it into a backpack or you can pull this up and have it as like crossbody. So loads of different options there. It also has the clips that you can attach it to your buggy and it looks really smart kind of attached to the buggy as well. This one has so much space and what is brilliant about a pack pod is the pods. So inside you get um, these different pods and on them they tell you what they are. So you get a little label here, oh I'll take it in my face, get a little label that says um, feeding pod and changing pod at the moment. The feeding pod doesn't have anything in because we're not going out, but it's basically an insulated um, pod that you can fit your bottles in and it fits four bottles. So um, if you're going out for a whole day with a single child and you need the bottles, it will fit. Or if you're going out with triplets and a toddler, it fits all of their drinks, <laughs> um, which is brilliant and super convenient. It also has these little clips on the front so if you just need the feeding pod or just need the changing pod I often just take the changing pod if I'm going for a walk because I don't want to take the whole bag it's not necessary just in case there's an explosion or whatever and I need to do a quick nappy change I just clip this onto the buggy rather than taking the whole thing and um, the changing pod is really well organized so you get the mat which actually should be in that bit there um, there's space for all of your um, wipes and nappies and there's two little pockets on the side for nappy bags and creams and hand sanitizer and whatever else you need and it just is makes it really compact as well so and they fit really nicely in here this bag is huge has a big zip compartment and another two big compartments in here for like changes of clothes and muslins and things and then when these are in there's still space around it so if you are having multiples or if you are having a lot of children if you have a lot of children um, so you need stuff for the babies and stuff for your toddlers and things like that this bag is brilliant because look like the pods go here and there's still like room to stack stuff on top and around so I'd really really recommend the packer pod um, if you're looking for a changing bag okay last few products now um, one of them is the bottles that we used I was expressing and breastfeeding at the start um, and the babies were in the NICU um, and so we didn't need any bottles because they were using the um, little tiny teats for the, the NICU give you. But once they came home, everybody recommended if you had a baby that was in the NICU, um, the MAM bottles were the most accepted. Um, it's to do with the shape of the teat. These are the size threes we're on now. Yeah, size three teats, but they do one, two, and three for faster flows and slower flows. Um, they also have, like the whole kit comes with the small bottles to start with and then we're onto these big bottles now. They are um, anti-colic bottles, so they stop too much airflow going in um, because the actual bottom comes off and it has this little section that has actual holes in, so it allows the flow better and they're just, yeah, we've never had a problem with them. All the babies have accepted them. They are brilliant. They wash up really well because you can take all the pieces apart and they self sterilize. So rather than having to put the bottles into a sterilizer to sterilize them, you actually just build them in a certain way and stick them in the microwave as is and they sterilize that way. So you don't need an, a separate sterilizer to sterilize. Next up is a baby bath. So you are obviously going to need to bathe your baby and uh, there is nothing wrong with the kitchen sink or you know wherever you wanna bath them. To begin with, we actually just used to sponge bath them. So they were just on their um, changing mat and we just used to um, bath them like that. Um, While well, they were really, really tiny because it just was it was just near on impossible to do it any other way. Um, but then once they got a bit bigger, we started to use the Schnuggle, which is the exact same bath that we used with Oscar, our three-year-old. Still love it. 
um, we actually have two of these now, is basically like a bucket bath, as you can see. And what happens is the baby is able to sit inside it. It's got like this lump here. So they sit, this is like a nice soft material here. They come in different colors as well. I think they do blue and pink as well as gray. Um, so this is nice and soft and warm, so they're not against anything cold, they're back. They sit in here and then this stops them from slipping into the bath. Um, and so they're actually quite um, covered in the water. So unlike, you know, if you have them just in a sink and they've just got like a little bit of water over the top of them, because they're kind of sat in the tub, um, it, you know, it comes up nice and high on them, keeps them nice and warm. It has a measure down here of like how much water you should put in it so it's super safe for them but they um they just really really love it because they can just sit up in it um and then once they get a bit bigger they're able to splash oscar was able to use this for quite a long time as well so um for water saving possibilities it's great because you don't have to fill a whole bath but you still get that bath experience because they're sat in this like tub so it doesn't take much water, but they feel like they're in a load of water. Okay, this has to be one of the most useful products that I completely underestimated when I was um, pre-babies, pre-triplets, when I was pregnant with them and I was trying to work out like what I was gonna need. I was like, we're not gonna need bouncers. <laughs> Um, and then as it got more closer to the time and I was in more kind of triplet groups, people were like, you know, bouncers are really handy. And I was like, okay. I'll get a bouncer, just one, you know, like, so we can have the option of, you know, two on a, on a play mat and one can be in the bouncer if necessary. So I only bought one and the one that I chose was the Baby Bjorn, which looks like this. Um, and the reason I got this one is because um, it's got amazing reviews because it's just a sleek design, but babies are really um, easily able to bounce themselves once they get the hang of it. So our triplets are five months, three months corrected, and they're able to bounce themselves now. So at three months, they're already able to do it themselves because of just the design, it's just super bouncy. It doesn't have any flashy, colorful stuff on it. It's literally just a bouncer. So I got one, and then I very quickly realized, actually, when I'm on my own, once I've fed a baby, I can't just put them flat on their back. Um, we've got particularly refluxy babies anyway, but you wouldn't want to put a baby flat on their back once you've fed them. And if you've got multiples, where else are you going to put them if you're on your own? So I then purchased a second bouncer because I was like, okay, I can have one on the changing mat, uh, one on the play mat, feed one, and one be in the bouncer and then rotate. Um, then that one goes into the second bouncer, da 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 da, -da rotate round. That didn't work out either because then once I'd actually fed all three babies, the first one still wasn't ready to be put down on the play mat. Um, and where else are you going to put them? So then I ordered a third bouncer. So we ended up with three of them. They are a huge investment, particularly if you're buying three, but they hold their sale resale value. So that is something to consider. If you are wanting to get one of these, you do get a good price if you sell them on and they are just fantastic they fold flat as well so they have um, a, this little function on here that means that they can be at different heights and then you're able to um, actually fold them flat and they are like really flat so you can store them away and another product that has been super useful is our sound machine uh, I haven't got it here to show you but I will insert footage we ended up um, getting a uh, sound machine that was portable because that was something that was really frustrating when we had our son we had we got the um we had a skip hop one with him and it was quite chunky and bulky and you had to plug it in and that was it you, you know if you went away for the night you had to bring it with you this one is just on a little cord you're able to take it anywhere you want with it you can take it off the charger you can take it out with you and it's super compact but the sound is really good because that was my worry was that it was it going to be loud enough but the sound is really good um and it plays at different volumes and different sounds um as well okay so that is all of our favorite baby products for our triplets like i say these are so useful if you have multiples or if you just have a single baby um, they are definitely not essentials i'm not pitching this video as essentials these are products that are just going to make your life easier so um yeah i will make sure i link everything in the description box below and thank you for watching bye guys